muzzle brakes and gunsmithing. What we're going to be doing today here is testing a few muzzle brakes and checking out the amount of recoil reduction uh, that you can get from some of our muzzle brakes and also comparing those with some competitors muzzle brakes. Um, what we've got here is a purpose built uh, professionally constructed recoil testing jig. What this does is measures the recoil energy from uh, a shot fired. What we're looking at here is the amount of work done or the amount of energy that's expended rearwards when a rifle's fired in that instantaneous moment. Uh, the way we're calculating that is we've got a known mass or weight working against gravity and as the rifle's fired under preload conditions the jig comes back and basically this little slider here works like a trigger pull gauge and where it stops we can then measure the amount of rearward travel uh, from that. Why did we go to this system? Well, for two or three years we looked at trying to get um, an electronic system for recoil uh, testing. Um, most of the commercially produced uh, systems we found usually had a fairly limited production run or life uh, because they had problems with, um, I think it was largely due to static electricity and chatter and problems with the results. Um, obviously in those situations you're trying to convert a mechanical problem into uh, an electronic form and then assess it on a computer. Uh, we decided, hey, let's simplify things. Recoil is a mechanical problem, let's measure it mechanically, do away with the electronic side of things and see how we go. And it's actually worked out really well. Um, the system here we've got is really low friction all the uh, little wheels and um, the pulley system are all on roller bearings so the coefficient of friction for this jig is actually really low and we calculated that out at 0 0.0108 um, so with minor um, um, adjustments for obviously momentum and coefficient of friction you can, well, we have actually um, calculated the recoil energy and compared that with theoretical results and it's really really close We've also found a few things that the theories just couldn't calculate and um, yeah, so that's one of those things you just have to, sometimes you just have to test things and see how they go. Uh, just a couple of other things to note here, uh, our trigger system is activated with an electronic solenoid so there's no mechanical influence from uh, your finger, anything like that. Uh, what we're going to do is test fire three rounds and measure the amount of travel rearwards. Now what we found, this system is really reliable. Uh, it's travelling back between six or seven hundred millimetres. Uh, the results are often within a few millimetres. So that shows us that obviously you can check that the ammo is really consistent and also we'll be checking the velocity as well. Occasionally you'll get a little velocity spike and that will actually show up on the gauge here as well as you'll get a little bit more recoil um, with uh, yeah, the odd sort of freak hot load. What we are using in this case for a test just for um, reliability is factory ammo, so you know there's no um, you know, tweaking of the loads or anything like that. Um, what we've got here is 300 uh, wind mag, 150 grain bullet, and um, the velocity on these I think you'll probably see is about 3140 or 3160 feet per second, uh, 23 and a half inch barrel. So, uh, yep, let's get into it. Okay, just one thing we'll mention before we start. Obviously, whenever you fire any rifle, high powered rifle, whether it's got a muzzle brake or not, you should use hearing protection. Muzzle brakes, particularly, are renowned for increasing the pressure and noise out to the side of a rifle. Never fire a muzzle brake rifle without some form of hearing protection. Uh, the other thing I've just mentioned is that the jig's been leveled, it may not look like it in your view. Uh, but trust me, this has been perfectly leveled, and that's a critical part of how this system works, and so it can reset reliably as well. Right, we'll fire our first three shots, there's no muzzle brake on, and we'll just measure the uh, rearward travel uh, with each of those shots.
Fart. Right, we've actually fired four shots there, uh, just to average it out a little bit better. Um, and now we're going to fit some muzzle brakes. Uh, first one we'll fit up is a Sarko TRG muzzle brake.